Hi guys. Um, so this video is on something that I've been um, doing a lot of research on as far as reading and um, podcasting and it's about negative thought process. And um, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, for the last 48 hours or so, 72 now, um, I was dealing with just a negative situation and I let my mind run rampant with of just thoughts of how am I going to deal with this and what am I going to say and what's going to happen if, if it goes this direction and what's going to happen if it goes that direction and um, it was really really uh, frustrating and I look back and it you know took 48 hours of my life um, and it was really a situation that I couldn't control and so um, I just want to encourage you guys to make a conscious decision to uh, give something the energy that it needs and that is the things that you can control in that situation and then put it aside and be done with it. And so once that situation came to a close uh, yesterday, I of course began on that mental path of, well, did I say it right? Did I handle it correctly? Um, was it appropriate? Uh, what's what's the smart move here? And what's the um, humble and, and uh, loving move here with this situation? And so that's always a battle. and. At that point, there was nothing more that I could do. Uh, it was over. So I made a conscious decision. You know what? This is it. What can I learn from this? Let's dissect that just for a few moments. Let's take that lesson and then done with it. No more emotional energy. No more mental energy. And um, even as I talk about it right now, it's like, ha. Huh weight is lifted and that feels really good. And so I just want to encourage you guys that whatever may be going on in your life, like don't give it any more time than it deserves, right? It, it hijacked your mind for X amount of hours and um, maybe you dealt with it, maybe you didn't, but deal with what you can and what's in your control and let the rest go and pour into things that, um, that are worth your time. You know, I think about, gosh, all these things that um, I've thought about, you know, over the last three years even with, with business that I can't control. It's like, wow, if I would have poured into maybe a customer that was really sick instead with that energy, you know, that would have been so much better use of my time than fretting over things that um, I can't change. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that to um, stay focused, stay positive, and um, really, uh, you got to put boundaries around your mind. You really, really do. Uh, one time Joyce Meyer said um, that not being intentional with your thoughts is like letting a two-year-old run around with a knife in the house. That two-year-old's not trained. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to cut vegetables. They're probably going to hurt themselves. And our mind is the same thing. It needs to be guided. It needs to be um, intentional. And um, you really got to put an effort with that. And it, you will see the results. Like in so many areas of your life, you'll see the results. Um, everything starts with a thought. Every single thing that we do starts with a thought. An idea, um, success maybe a failure. It all starts with a thought. And so I encourage you guys to just guide your thoughts to a positive direction and know that you have the power. No one else has the power um, but you. Sure, things can influence you, but only you get to decide how you feel about that and how much time and energy you choose to put on it. So with that said, guys, I just want to encourage you today and um, I'm going to put a couple links below to some favorite authors that I love and also some podcasts. I'm obsessed with podcasts, you guys. I spent a lot of time in the car and they just, they've really transformed my mind and my world in the last three years. So um, with that said, I'll put those links in there so you guys can hopefully get something good out of them too. And yeah. Sending you guys encouragement today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And if you want more, like just inspiration and stuff, you can obviously find my Instagram and my Facebook. Instagram, I probably post way more inspiring stuff on there than I do Facebook. But um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye.